Well, good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day here today. When you were a kid, did your parents ever catch you taking advantage of loopholes or operating in the margins of what they told you to do? Maybe they told you you couldn't go to your one friend's house, but they didn't tell you that you couldn't meet that person at another friend's house. Or maybe they said a chore had to be done before you could do something, but they didn't say you couldn't make your younger sibling do the chore while you enjoyed the benefits. See, I often find that, that the way we view the world in these situations is forever affected by sin and tainted in how we view these things. We look for ways to make our life easier, more comfortable, or more beneficial to us, while also trying to appear to be doing the right thing. And today as we look at our section of Genesis, that's what we are going to see. We're going to be in Genesis chapter 26 today and encourage you to take some time to read this chapter today. Um, but today we go back to the story of Isaac. We looked at some issues with his, his twin sons the last few days, but we're going back to the story of Isaac and his life and storyline here today. And as we begin chapter 26, we find Isaac in a moment of transition and decision on how he will follow the instruction of God. See, they were facing famine and needing to relocate where they were living, and how he followed his Heavenly Father's instruction would be really important for him. So let's take a look at Genesis chapter 26. Starting in verse 2, it says, And the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Dwell in the land that I will tell you. Sojourn in this land, and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your offspring I will give all these lands and will establish an oath that I swore to Abraham your father. I will multiply your offsprings as the stars of heaven and give to your offspring of the lands. And in your offspring all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, and my statutes, and my laws. So here he's told not to go to Egypt, but is told to go and follow the Lord's leading and occupy a new land to avoid the famine that was coming. He's reminded of the covenant that God had established with his father Abraham and encouraged to follow in the obedience of his father. Seems simple enough, right? Well, let's keep reading Genesis chapter 26, starting in verse 6. It says, So Isaac settled in Gerar. And when the, man of the, the men of the place asked him about his wife, he said, She is my sister. For he feared to say, My wife, thinking lest the men of this place should kill me because of Rebekah, because she was attractive in appearance. Does this sound familiar? It should, because Abraham had done this twice with his own wife, including once in the very same country with the same lineage of leadership. You can look at those stories in chapters 12 and 20 if you're curious. Why do I bring this up? Well, because Isaac chose to be selectively obedient to the instructions of God. He obeyed the direct command of God not to go to Egypt and to go to Gerar instead, but he did not choose to operate with integrity and obedience to the God at the point of honesty about his wife. He was concerned that because of his wife's beauty, he may be killed or hurt so that people could get to her. And God had showed over and over, though, that he would provide and care for Isaac and his family. Yet in this moment, he took matters into his own hands and chose to protect himself. See, I don't know what big moments you're facing today, this week, this month, or this year, but I do know that God is asking you to live with obedience in the big areas and in the little areas of your life. He's calling you to trust in Him both in the public areas of life and to be obedient in the solitary margins that you don't think matter. So today, my challenge to you is choose obedience, choose honesty, choose integrity. And if this reminds you of some ways that maybe you haven't chosen those things and instead have made some shortcuts, here's the good news. God is a God of grace. Chapter 26 continues with God reinforcing his covenant and blessing Isaac as a reminder that God's covenant is not dependent on our perfection because he knows we will fall short. So if that's you, accept the grace of God, start fresh, and choose obedience because it will lead to life. Hope this is an encouragement and also a challenge to you today. We'll see you next time, Calvary.